I'm Hazus, and this video is going to have a look at a new exploit on the scene market which can be extremely useful provided you know what you're doing and we're going to be diving in and having a look at what's going on and how you can take advantage of it. Now this video is sponsored by Skin Wallet, the skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later. Anyway. There's this thing called the Steam Summer Sale. I, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's just like this thing Steam does each year. No, it's not, not a big deal or anything, but anyway, during this sale, a lot of games go on discount. And when they go on discount, people go a little bit crazy trying to buy stuff. And because their wallets can't handle it, well, they have to start selling stuff so they can keep on buying games. And what's the only thing gamers actually own these days? Skins. So there's generally a mad rush on the scene market as players try to liquidate any and all skins they own so they can afford more games. And this flood of skins on the market, well, it causes the price of skins to crash. Now, of course, this sale doesn't last forever. And once it's over, things get back to normal and skin prices get back to normal as well. But if you're prepared enough at the start of the sale, you can buy a bunch of skins when the prices crash and then flip them off after the sale for a nice little return. It's nothing mind blowing, but it's safe, it's reliable, and you're not going to go wrong. It's a neat little exploit on the Steam market that you can always use to your advantage. Now, this video isn't about the Steam Summer Sale itself, but it is about the Steam Summer Sale 2.0. And this new Steam Summer Sale is a little bit different. In particular, it doesn't actually have a sale, which is a bit of a change, but you can take advantage of it in the exact same way. And we are going to be having a closer look. So this all starts with something pretty small. China. Again, I, I don't know if you've heard of it. I mean, it's only 18% of the world's population, so it's pretty easy to miss. But anyway, this China place, it has this thing called Chinese New Year. Now, I can't say I've got a super in-depth understanding of it. I think it involves animals each year or something like that. But apparently it also involves big family get-togethers where there's tons of food. But more importantly, it also involves giving people money, particularly to either kids or unmarried people, depending on what part of China you're from. But basically, you get given this big red envelope full of money by a relative, and it's meant to essentially pass on luck from one generation to another. But as far as we're concerned, what it really means is that pretty much all the Chinese gamers out there suddenly find they have a bunch of cash that they can spend. Now, we're going to come back to Chinese Timmy and his sudden windfall in a moment because there's something else I also need to show. So, I, I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of my Christmas playing games. I, I spend time with the family, but I was, I was at my parents' house, there was nothing to do, so I booted up New Vegas and had a lovely fun time with the local insect population, and my gaming time as a whole probably went up. Now, I don't know how closely that matches most people's Christmas experience, but I always find there is a lot more time for gaming. But I think Chinese New Year might be a slightly more full on thing because this is a chart of Chinese player numbers on Chinese servers during Chinese New Year. And as you can see, they have absolutely tanked, basically down about 50%. And while I can't speak from experience here, it looks to me like it's taken pretty seriously. Now, that drop obviously didn't last. In fact, there's currently as many people in China playing CSGO as there's ever been. But the reason I'm talking about this is that CSGO skin economy is literally dependent on China at this point. We're like a patient strapped to an iron lung. And the moment half the Chinese player base took a few days off, the economy immediately began to tank. And it didn't tank too much. I mean, it only had a few days to do it, but it unmistakably started to tank. Now, I have to apologize for the horrible quality of Steam price charts here, but as you can see, the AK Red Zone dropped from $21.50 to $18.50, the Emperor went from $60 to $55, and the Orb Asimov went from $90 to about $80. And again, this is just because half of China took a few days off. Yeah, you know, God have mercy if these guys ever leave CSGO for Valorant. Now, as I said, this wasn't permanent. Once Chinese New Year wrapped up, all these gamers gradually started coming back and it was business as usual. Except for one small detail, suddenly, they had a lot more funds at their disposal. And you can probably see where this is going to go. Suddenly, the price of everything on the Steam market started going up. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about why Cisco cases are getting so much more expensive. And they've gone up in price a lot. The Fracture case went from 46 cents 
all the way to 70 cents. The broken fang case went from 65 cents all the way to 89 cents, and the breakout case went from $1.50 to $1.90. And this is the reason why a bunch of gamers in China got given a red envelope by their relatives for Chinese New Year, and they've been using it to unbox cases. But of course, they didn't just stop it up in loot boxes, they also started buying up massive numbers of skins. Now, I would show you the price charts, but they're hideous to look at, so we'll just do it like this. The red line went from $18.50 to $22.50, the Emperor went from $55 to $63, and the Orb Asimov went from $80 to $98. So there's been this massive and really sudden shift in prices across the market, from plummeting to skyrocketing within less than a month. And by this point, you're probably starting to figure out what the exploit I'm talking about actually is. So here we have prices dropping dramatically during the space of a couple of days and then skyrocketing in the couple of weeks afterwards. Now, I am no Harvard economist, but I'm pretty sure that if you bought some of the skins here and sold some skins here, it might be financially worth your while. I feel like there's some very basic maths that kind of supports this being a smart move. And this is what I really wanted to draw attention to with this video. You see, this time last year, Chinese New Year did not do anything to the Steam market. It didn't move it an inch. And that's not because the number of people in China playing CSGO has increased a lot over the last year. In fact, it's been mostly flat for the last 12 months. CSGO has been growing, but it's been doing that growing in Europe, where it's literally bigger than it's ever been there right now. Now, although don't ask about Australia, our scene is literally dying. But e either way, it seems like over the last year or so, a lot of Chinese players have migrated over to using the Steam market much more actively as opposed to other marketplaces, and they're already having a huge impact on it. As long as you know it's coming, you can make a lot from Chinese New Year, and it's probably only going to get crazier and crazier from here, especially if China's play numbers start growing again. If that starts happening, things are probably gonna get a little bit insane. But either way, it is gonna be a big thing going forward on the Steam market, and it's definitely worth knowing about, because if you know it's coming and plan ahead, you can really, really make it work to your advantage. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe, massively appreciate it. And a big thank you to Skin Wallet for sponsoring this video. Skin Wallet is a skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. It's quick, easy and safe to use with no hidden fees. You can log in through Steam and start selling your skins. If you're looking to buy, there are a ton of skins on sale for huge discounts and you can buy it straight from Visa and MasterCard with no extra hidden fees and save a lot of money on your skins buying this way. If you need money even more quickly, Skimwatt offers the best instant sell prices for mid-tier skins of any website, allowing you to get paid out within minutes. Skin Wallet also has 24 seven customer service for whenever you have a problem. Link is in the pinned comment. I recommend checking them out. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching. See ya.